Howdy folks, Stray Cat 74 here. Welcome back to the Basement of Solitude. Um, had a video comment request on somebody else's video about swapping the cylinders on the 1858 Remington New Army Revolver. Uh, 1858 is like the patent date or something. It doesn't actually have anything to do with the revolver itself, but convention, at least these days, is this is the 1858 pattern. Uh, more correct would be just to call this the Remington New Army Revolver. Um, there's the Army and then there's the Navy. The Navy was a 36 caliber, Army was 44 caliber. And that's what I have. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you how we uh, swap the cylinder, the cylinders here. This is your loading bar. When you're loading your chambers, this is the bar you would use to drive your uh, round ball or conical into the cylinder. Uh, right at the moment, well, you see these little notches in between the nipples? That's a safety notch. The hammer sits in there so you can walk around with all six uh, chambers loaded and not be in any fear of it accidentally going off from getting the hammer hit. So first thing we need to do is pull this back to the first click. That'll allow the cylinder to rotate freely. Next we have to release the load bar and if you line it up just a little bit you'll see that's how you get it to load the, the <clears throat> projectiles. Then you have to pull out this little nub here. This is the cylinder pin. It goes all the way through the center here. And then you just roll this out. Cylinder in hand. You'll see right here. I don't know if you can see it on the video here. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. This is what gives you uh, indexes your uh, your cylinder right here. That keeps the cylinder from turning. I don't. I. I only just woke up. I barely. I barely had time to drink half my coffee. I think I've been awake 15, 20 minutes, maybe, and that was after a 12-hour day at work, with an hour drive each way. <clears throat> we had to do pits last night. So, anyhow. In the field, or at the range, or pretty much anywhere else, you fire your six shots, you pull the cylinder to get a loaded one back in. I actually have three of these. Um, they're in my possibles bag in my desk here. I just haven't dug them out, so we're just going to use the one. You have to roll it backwards to get it to go in here so you have to lift that up so when you put it in I hate to turn it away from me so I can see what I'm doing but you roll it like this and that gets that indexer out of the way and then you just have to fiddle with it to get the pin to line up snap the load bar in Cock the hammer, you're ready to go. Um, I timed myself the other day, and it was like 15 or 12 or 15 seconds, going from uh, out, grab the new one, roll, wiggle. Uh, yeah, I I didn't I screwed that up. I pushed a little too hard, and it went and swap. Uh, where the hell is my damn phone? Anyway. Trying to talk and do that when I'm mostly still asleep probably wouldn't work out very well. I want to at least be able to brag a little, but... So. From hammer down, 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, Four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand. We'll call it eight seconds.
better than what I did the other day. Then again, I was <coughs> two whiskeys into a 20-hour uh, day, so it took me 12 seconds. So, yeah, and in 10 seconds or so, 10 to 15, we'll call it 10 to 15, you can swap the cylinder on, an, on a new Army revolver and have six more shots, providing you have another cylinder. They're almost as expensive as the whole gun, but uh, they are not uh, considered firearms as far as the ATF is concerned. So you can have the, you know, and you can buy one of these from like, I'm going to say Cabela's because that's actually where I bought this one almost 10 years ago. Actually, no, I think it was more than 10 years ago. I paid 200 bucks delivered. Uh, the same firearm today is going for three. Inflation, or the falling value of the American dollar. Um, I want to get another one, because I want to do a little work. I want to round off here, uh, do a, a bird's head style Uh, yeah, it helps if you can see what I'm doing here. Cut off a little bit here so it's a little more rounded, so it's a little more bird's head style. Uh, I want to cut down the barrel. I'm going to have to move the sight and do something for a loading bar. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to get a uh, Taylor's conversion cylinder for 45 long colt, because this would be the only firearm I'd have in 45 long colt. I've got reloading presses. I've got lead casting material, so it wouldn't be difficult. Um, I've seen them where you can send the firearm in. They'll machine this uh, part here out, add a loading gate to the firearm so that you can fold the loading gate out, load and unload without removing the cylinder. Or just swap this, or uh, take the cylinder out, pop it apart, dump the shells. That would be the cheaper option, and probably the one I would, I would go with. I would get the five. Uh, the, no, I'd get the six shot, not the five shot, because I like having six shots. But anyhow, eight seconds, and uh, swapped it out. Uh, just in case you want to know if that was a fluke, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000, 7, 7 seconds. And I held it out over here so, to mimic setting one down, picking the other one up. Can it be done quick? Yes, it can. You have to have multiple cylinders. They have to already be loaded. I've got three. Anyway, I hope you found that educational or at least entertaining. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. Hello, folks, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, hit the like, subscribe, the little bell icon, leave a comment, comment section below because YouTube changed the way their uh, algorithms work. And well, if you don't comment they won't update you when i upload new content don't forget i have a twitch i have a patreon and i have a paypal that you can donate money to me at straycat underscore 74 at yahoo.com so from the basement of solitude i'll catch you next time